And over the weekend, President Biden took on the role of comedian in chief. He delivered remarks at the annual White House Correspondents Association dinner. While there were plenty of funny moments, President also struck a serious tone to highlight issues. NBC's Bree Jackson was there and joins us from Washington. Bree, good morning. Good morning, Maureen Dave. Well, the annual White House Correspondents' Dinner is meant to celebrate America's free press. And during this year's event, President Biden made jokes about a range of topics while also declaring that journalism is not a crime. A night of laughs as President Biden took the stage at the White House Correspondents' Dinner Saturday, cracking jokes about the media, his political opponents, and himself. I believe in the First Amendment. Not just because my good friend Jimmy Madison wrote it. <laughs> the president using the spotlight to also stress the importance of protecting freedom of speech and Americans wrongfully detained in other countries. Journalist Evan Gerchkovich remains held in Russia accused of espionage. We're working every day to secure his release. Looking at opportunities and tools to bring him home. We keep the faith. This dinner comes as the 2024 presidential race ramps up. There's a growing list of Republican candidates eager to take over the White House. I'm unapologetically pro-life. And like many in the pro-life movement, I believe that abortion is a form of murder. And, and the American people trust Republicans more to handle the economy than the other side. President Biden officially launched his re-election campaign last week. His allies stress the 80-year-old is the best person for the job. So the numbers we're going to be talking about are the 12 million jobs created in the first two years that Biden's been president, the lowest unemployment in 50 years. Both sides making their pitch to voters. And during Saturday's event, President Biden also honored WNBA star Brittany Griner, who was also in attendance. This time last year, Griner was being wrongfully detained in Russia. She received a standing ovation from the crowd Saturday night. Mm. Maureen? Bree, can you tell us a little bit more about the protests that were outside the White House Correspondents' Dinner? Yeah, the group calls themselves Client Defiance, uh, and they held a series of protests before, uh, throughout, and even after the event. Organizers say they were protesting what they call broken promises by President Biden regarding fossil fuel projects. All right. Bree Jackson, live for us in Washington, D.C. Thank you so much.